The central dogma is the process where DNA codes for RNA, then RNA creates proteins, and the proteins then cause characteristics. There are three parts to the central dogma. In the cell, the three processes transcription, RNA processing, and translation occur. In the process of transcription, an enzyme called RNA polymerase binds to the DNA at a binding site signaled by a promoter. The RNA polymerase separates the double helix and begins attaching RNA nucleotides complementary to the template strand of DNA, building the RNA strand off of its 3' end. A single strand of RNA is the result as the RNA polymerase moves from 3' to 5' along the template strand. A completed strand of RNA is known as messenger RNA, or mRNA. A poly-A tail consisting of about 250 adenine bases is first added onto the 3' end of the strand, and a 5' cap is added to the 5' end of the strand. These are added to make sure nucleotides don't break away from either side of the strand. The mRNA strand also goes through a few changes to remove the parts of it that do not code for proteins. These non-coding parts are called introns, while the coding parts are called exons. The enzyme spliceosome comes along and attaches to either side of the introns, removing them from the sequence. Now that the strand has a poly A tail, a 5' cap, and only exons in the strand, it exits through a nuclear pore into the cytoplasm. Translation occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell. A ribosome binds to the mRNA strand at the start codon with the base sequence AUG. In the ribosome, there are three sections the E, P, and A sections. A type of RNA called transfer RNA, or tRNA, enters the ribosome with an amino acid attached. The anticodon of the tRNA, which is three consecutive bases, is complementary to the codon of the mRNA. When the first tRNA enters, it enters into the P section in the center of the ribosome. Another tRNA enters into the A section, with a new amino acid for the next codon of the mRNA. A peptide bond is formed between the two amino acids currently in the ribosome. The ribosome shifts along the mRNA from 5' to 3'. The tRNA that was previously in the P section is now in the E section, where it exits the ribosome, no longer attached to its amino acid. The ribosome continues shifting and as more tRNAs go in and out, the amino acids form peptide bonds between each other. This process continues until the ribosome reaches a stop codon. As this process goes on, the strand of amino acids grows in length. This is called a polypeptide chain. This polypeptide chain can fold and join other polypeptides to create a protein. These proteins are what cause the characteristics that make every living thing different. I got, 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 I